LC Network here at CES 2019, and we're at the Form Labs booth, and this is John. John, how are you doing? Very well, thanks, James. Yeah, Good to no be here. problem. Yeah, same here. And we're standing in front of their amazing, quite popular. Uh, the, this is the Form Two, right? That's right. The Form Two printers. The, the you know they're probably one of the most recognized brands out there in 3D printing. If you've you've been following the news in 3D printing, or if you've been practicing it yourself, and um, I mean these are amazing. You can buy one. You can network them all together and have them all print the same thing at the same time. But that's not what we're here today. You have something different that you're announcing this time around. That's right. What the, do we have? The big news at CES this year is a couple of new materials. And okay. that's really been the big news all year, the big progress at Formlabs. Yep. We have 19 different materials now. They support all kinds of workflows. So every time a new material comes out, some kind of workflow that hasn't been digital before can become digital. Yes. It becomes possible to use CAD software to design something and then 3D printers to print it. So we have a couple things. They're unrelated, but they're really cool. One is this new elastic resin. So it's very soft. It springs right back. It's very uh, durable. Um, it, uh, and, and it really you know, fills a need, so this is a, a type of performance that hasn't been achievable on a, an accessible So this is actually like a silicone? Yeah, it's si si similar to a silicone. I mean, I mean, it's in the family of methacrylates, just like the rest of our materials, but right. it performs a lot like silicone. Okay. The other one uh, here, and this is a, a, little, a little grisly maybe, this is a denture. And it's 3D printed, so it's a uh, it's a completely 3D printed denture. You print the gums and the teeth separately with different materials, and then assemble them together. So this means that the entire process of making a denture can be digital. Your dentist scans your mouth with a scanner that, that goes in, then it gets sent to a technician who uh, creates a design for a denture, and then you 3D print it and send it back. This is so really great. It's amazing. Yeah, you know. In the past, uh, creating a denture like this would cost about 50 bucks with conventional methods where you bite into a mold and send it out. This one costs about 10 bucks to make. 10 so bucks. Big That's difference it. in the cost of delivering dental care. So really, dentistry has a lot more to depend on when it comes to 3D printing and uh, to look forward to. Because before, it was just like night guards and whatnot, or That's right. some of the, like the Invisalign uh, solutions. And right. now you can actually print the teeth. You can print something that goes straight in your mouth. That's pretty cool. Eventually, they're just going to have something they stick in your mouth, and they can print on you know crowns and everything else to go with it. Exactly, yeah, so an intraoral oral That'll printer, be next maybe. year, maybe. Next year. But that's not all. You actually have something else you, you're focusing on this year. With uh, You have an artist over here that's actually sculpting a model live. That's right. As one of the kinds of workflows that can be digitized now, we're demonstrating a really cool way of scanning a face and then turning it into a model. And the joke at CES is that being here for a day or two turns you sort of into a zombie. So what our artist over here is doing is he's scanning people's faces and then turning them into models of zombies. And Seems appropriate. Them. I like That's it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, so we got a little Resident Evil theme today, or Walking Dead going here. Precisely. I love it. Uh, so, um, and in terms of the um, all of this, uh, the filaments and everything else, when are they actually going to become available? Are they on the market right now? Because you announced them at CES, but are they available for purchase uh, so people can start working on those right away? They sure are. These resins are both available on our website, um, along with the other 17 that, uh, that we've been producing. Perfect, which is obviously formlabs.com. Formlabs.com. Yep, so go check them out. Uh, go see what they have, the 19, all 19 filaments, and, and get your hands dirty. See what you can actually uh, play around with, and especially if you're a business, uh, from prototypes to actually a finished product and mass producing them with a printer farm such as this. So go check them out, formlabs.com, and thank you so much. Thanks so much, James. It's been a pleasure. Great to be here. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, Remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.